with so the stare down. So you basically have to stand in front of your partner. Can we do a stare down? Yeah, and you All just right. stand. It's Max Major, and this is episode 177 of the vlog. It is a dreary Saturday afternoon here in Washington, D.C. Uh, getting ready to meet up with Emiliano to go scout out some locations where we may be shooting the sizzle, just get some inspiration, try to find some cool visuals. The destination today is the Lloyd Irving Martial Arts Academy, home of a few UFC fighters and uh, many professional MMA fighters. You want to drive or you want me to drive? Okay. Good? All right. It's a little bit spooky. This is like not where you would expect to find a world-class MMA academy. First American to defeat a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt in Brazil. That's cool. My name is Nigel Rollins. I've been training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for 10 years now, um, but I've been doing martial arts for over 20 years. I am a world champion at the purple belt level. I'm also a brown belt Pan American champion, and I've had an opportunity to travel over the world and really have some awesome experiences. I train with one of the most amazing teams in the world and it's really been a, a really cool ride. We have ranging from like five year old, um, I call them little beasts. These are some of like the kids who you can see on the back now. So um, as far as like the level of intensity, we have guys who are fighting at the highest level in the UFC. So we have veterans like Mike Easton, we also have Ron Stallings, we've had Brandon The Truth Bear, Dominic Cruz, Phil Davis, all of them who've been able to take part in um, our program and our system, learning our Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So how long would it take for someone like me to go from never having been in a fight in my life, to okay. have any kind of training, to stepping into that ring? Because you'll have a person who may come in and, you know, in three months because they have the heart to even be able to step in the ring, which is the hardest part, is just right. being in the ring. So technique is one piece. Yep. What you're saying is maybe even more important. Heart. His heart, his heart, his will, yep. the mental side yep. of it. Because you have a lot of people who are very, very technical, who've been training much longer, mm -hmm. but because really their heart isn't or their passion isn't the same as someone else, you know, they'll 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 get beat by someone who's been training half of the time that they had. Wow. Um, can I show you something about the power? I mean, you already know this, but I'll show you something to reinforce what you know about your mind. You're um. You're right-handed? Yes. Yes? We're gonna use your right hand. And imagine tied to that wrist are a dozen helium balloons. As I snap my fingers now, those balloons will begin to pull up against. And you can try to fight it, but the more you fight it, the harder that those will begin to pull. You feel those balloons now just start to rise up and rise up. This is your own strength that's doing this, the power of your mind. And what you'll find now is that the hand is attracted to a magnet in your forehead, a very strong magnet in your forehead, until that hand comes right the way in, right the way in. And as it touches your forehead, you can go down into a deep, deep relax and sleep as you listen down to my voice. How do you feel? Good? Good. What's going on with your hand? Try to pull it. Try to fight it. You actually find your own strength. You actually, because of your own strength, you simply can't pull it apart. It's simply stuck fast. I mean, the harder you try, the actually harder stuck fast it is. I mean, you're a very strong woman. The harder you pull, the more stuck it is. Look at me. Yeah, look right here. Sleep deep, eyes closed one more time. Go right the way down. You can relax this hand if you can release now. Four and five, eyes open. Why do I? How you feel? Great. You good? Yes. <laughs> you have a very strong mind. That was good. fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. That was a tight fist I had. Look at my hand. Wow, look what you did. Look at that. Did you feel that at the time? No. You didn't even feel no, that No, but now I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. I felt like I was not in control, like, but I was in control. Like in my mind, I wanted to take my hand off my forehead, yeah. but I just physically couldn't. But in my mind, I kept telling myself, take right. your hand. Take your hand off your head. Like you can take you yeah. can take your hand off your head. That was cool. Yeah. That well, was thanks cool. Thanks for doing that. Thanks. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. You navigating back to DC? You wanna see that crazy hoodoo spiritual shop? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So that was a number one, a very cool environment. There was a lot going on while I'm having a conversation with her. There's literally guys going blow for blow in the background. Uh, but what I did not expect and what I was most fascinated by was how much they focus 
on the mental side of the game and the mental training there, not just the physical technique. Um, and just how strong a fighter's mind has to be. Um, I can get down with that. Right. Great day. Awesome day, man. Alrighty. Till next time. I'm so in like 10 minutes, a woman from the City Dogs Rescue Center is coming over to do a tour of my apartment. And if everything goes according to plan, I could be bringing Bruce home today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so they just left and uh, I've been approved. I just put my application in. I got a nice little temporary dog tag for Bruce. And I've got a list of mandatory supplies I have to bring with me when I go to pick him up. I've got some shopping to do and I've got to get over there before seven o'clock when the daycare closes. shopping for my child, like checking labels on the food, testing out the softness of the bed. Only the best for you, Brucey. Hi, dogs. Do you like Bruce? Come here, Bruce. Hey, Pop. Have a good night. You too. Goodbye. Hey, good boy. Hey. Bruce, that banana. That banana. That banana, Bruce. It's okay. You're doing good, bud. You ready to meet Christy? It's okay. You can go say hi. You wanna go with me? Mm -hmm. He was asking about you. Yeah. Yeah. He said, where's that girl? Hi.